Leaked messages reveal that a group started by business leaders and financiers after October 7 eventually touched the highest levels of the Israeli government, the U.S. business world, and elite universities, titled Israel Current Events. Their WhatsApp chat eventually expanded to 100 members. More than a dozen members of the group appear on Forbes's annual list of billionaires. Others work in real estate, finance, and communications. Overall, the messages offer a window into how some prominent individuals have wielded their money and power in an effort to shape American views of the Gaza War, as well as the actions of academic, business and political leaders, including New York's mayor. The chat was initiated by a staffer for billionaire and real estate magnate Barry Sternlicht, who never joined directly, instead communicating through the staffer. In an October 12th message, one of the first sent in the group, the staffer posting on behalf of Sternlicht relayed a message from his boss outlining the group's mission. While Israel worked to win the physical war, the chat group's members would help win the war of U.S. public opinion by funding an information campaign with various Wall Street and Hollywood billionaires. The staffer wrote on Sternlich's behalf, I'm sensitive to concerns about being less effective if it appears that this is a Jewish initiative. Business executives including kind snack company founder Daniel Lubetsky, hedge fund manager Daniel Loeb, billionaire Len Blavatnik and real estate investor Joseph Sitt held a Zoom video call on April 26 with Mayor Eric Adams. The group privately pressed New York City's mayor last month to send police to disperse pro-Palestinian protests at Columbia University. During the call, some attendees discussed making political donations to Adams, as well as how the chat group's members could pressure Columbia's president and trustees to permit the mayor to send police to the campus to handle protesters. One member of the WhatsApp chat group told the Post he donated $2,100 the maximum legal limit, to Adams that month. Some members also offered to pay for private investigators to assist New York police in handling the protests. The messages describing the call with Adams were among thousands logged in a WhatsApp chat among some of the nation's most prominent business leaders and financiers, including former CEO of Starbucks Howard Schultz, Dell founder and CEO Michael Dell, hedge fund manager Bill Ackman and Joshua Kushner, founder of Thrive Capital and brother to Jared Kushner. From the start of the chat, members sought guidance and information from officials in the Israeli government. Some chat members attended private briefings with former Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett, Benny Gantz, a member of the Israeli War Cabinet, and Israel's ambassador to the United States, Michael Herzog, according to chat records.